Right, so today I want to also talk about uh, something that I don't usually talk about as free-to-play player, basically arena and formations and stuff. So first, let's talk about how arena works. So if you look at my team here, we can see that my team is mostly level 90, with an exception of Horus, who is level 99. Now, Arena works very friendly for everyone because we have this competitive mode setting and we have Hero Resonance activated, which means all of our heroes are going to be the same level as our highest character. And this is something we need to abuse. So always get one of your heroes to the highest level possible whenever you can go past any of these blocks, which is level 30, level 50, level 70, level 90. Okay, so once you can go past these levels, go get to the next highest tier, and this will give you a big advantage in the arena. If we go here, and I'll try to do my one or, well, few fights, you can see that this guy, he has the highest level 93. Uh, those are already defeated, so I'll, I'll look into them again. But this, again, gives me a great advantage because my heroes are level 90. Nine. So even if we compare the stats, I get like 59, almost 60,000 HP on my Horus when he only has 50. So that is a 10,000 10, 10, difference. His def defense is actually quite huge compared to mine. <laughs> but my equipment is way, way worse than uh, most of my opponents. So yeah, let's play it and see if this level makes a difference. Yeah, so as you can see, his Horus is really massive, way more, way stronger than mine at the current stage. But despite, despite him having this good composition with legendary hero here and me just playing rares, I am able to beat him because I am over leveled, okay? And this is how you climb this arena uh, as quickly as possible. And I'll talk about strategy and possible formations in the next video. So let's show a few more instances of this fight. So as you can see, everyone here is levels below me. This guy has like very good synergy. So even at this level, I'm going to skip him, especially because he's my guildmate. Uh, now again here, 92. So I am at this advantage because I managed to get one of my characters higher than everyone else. So this is really important for your arena team. Uh, helps drastically to climb the rankings until everyone eventually catches up, okay? Because everyone will get those heroes to level 100 and then th this will stale. But you want to abuse it while it lasts. And especially you want to do it in the lower levels uh, where uh, you started the game and you have a free rebuild. You basically can reduce the level of your whole team just to get one hero to level 50 and most of your opponents will be at level 30 because they do not realize that. So, yeah. The only opponents you should avoid, despite even level discrepancy, is the ones that use mostly legendary heroes because they will have their skills maxed out as well. And the season has just reset recently, so this is why I'm in this league. But usually, I am like a bronze wall fighter furry two and three this is where i am between those two so at the moment this is very high on our server 
Um, so yeah, definitely try it yourself and tell me how you're doing. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. As always, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye.